हेलो हेलो हाँ रेडी यस या यू कैन स्टार्ट आवाज नहीं आ रहा है सर एक मिनट सर हैंग हो गया Good morning all. Uh, today I will be presenting a case on macular hole. Uh, a 50-year-old female homemaker, resident of Sangli, came with chief complaints of uh, right eye gradual painless diminution of vision since three months. There was no history of ocular trauma or any systemic uh, systemic diseases. There was history of uh, using high power spectacles, and she had both eyes cataract surgery performed one year ago. Vision in the right eye best corrected was three meter finger counting, and in the left eye it was six twelve. IOP in the right eye was twenty one, in the left eye it was sixteen. Uh, pupils were normal in both eyes. Actual segment uh, uh, examination was normal in both eyes. Uh, both eyes had uh, pseudo fakia with PCIL and with PCO. In the right eye, media was clear. Uh, cup disc ratio was point three CDR. The background was tessellated. There was a large full thickness macular hole. PVD was present and retinal periphery was within normal limits. The left eye fundus was within normal limits. So this is the pre-op fundus photo uh, as I have described. It was basically a myopic fundus with a myopic macular hole in the right eye. Uh, the pre-operative uh, BCVA was finger counting three meters, mm -hmm. and this is the OCT. Uh, I have marked the various parameters, and I will be explaining them later in the form of macular hole indices. Uh, in post-op one month, uh, the expected visual acuity was six thirty-six. But the ho uh, hole did not close, so it was a case of failed macular hole closure. So we will discuss why this happened and what uh, management options we have for such cases of failed macular hole closure. Basically, introduction: uh, <clears throat> macular hole is a defect of foveal retina involving its full thickness from the ILM to the outer segment. Of the photoreceptor layer. The the term was coined by Ogilvy uh, in nineteen seventy eight. Amok, Amog, your uh, internet connection is not good. Can you use another mic? You can continue showing slide from your computer, but use uh, yes. another uh, mic to you. Yes, continue. It visible now. Yeah. Yeah. Continue, please. Uh, yeah. Okay. 
So uh, pre-operative BCBA was finger count liters, and uh, this is the OCT. Uh, and in the post of one month, uh, BCBA improved to 636, but the hole failed to close. So we are going to discuss uh, what are the various uh, management techniques. So basically, first we'll discuss about the uh, macular hole as a concept. So uh, it's a defect of uh, four involving its full thickness from the ILM to the outer segment of fourth receptor layer. Demography <clears throat> worldwide it is 3.3 per and basically more than 55 years of age. In India, it is for incidence is 1.7 per thousand in more uh, age group of more than 67 years. Females are affected more than males and fellow eye can be involved in 12 percent of the cases. Etiology, it can be idiopathic, uh, it can be vitreous synergesis, it can be post vitreous vitreous separation, then cystoid macular edema, trauma, progressive high myopia leading to foveal chiasis, and uh, preceding regmatogenous retinal detachment. So let us see the, uh, what is PVD and how does it occur. Uh, PVD uh, is important uh, component of uh, macular hole management. So PVD is characterized by separation between the posterior vitreous cortex and the ILM of the retina as a result of normal physiological process that occurs invariably with age. Age-related vitreous changes occur uh, with synchysis and synergesis. Synchysis is liquefaction of the vitreous and synergesis is vitreous condensation which contribute to PVD development. PVD occurs spontaneously and it is complete then patients hardly ever notice any symptoms. However, uh, when vitreous posterior vitreous cortex is partially or incompletely separated, it leads to symptoms like flashes and floaters. Now, this is normal foveal anatomy and normal vitreous attachments. Uh, vitreous is most firmly attached to the retina where the ILM is the thinnest. That is the vitreous base, anteriormost, margins of the lattice degeneration, major retinal vessels, optic disc margins and areas of the, uh, the foveola. That is 500 micron uh, diameter area in the center of the macula and the margins of the fovea is circumference of 1500 micron diameter. Pathophysiology of PVD with age, this liquefaction that is synchysis and then leads to a contraction or condensation, synergesis of the vitreous with loss of vitreous tractional pull exerted on the sides of vitreoretinal and vitreopapillary attachments by means of the condensing dense vitreous cortex. At the same time, there is weakening of these attachments between the vitreous and the ILM. And uh, the sequence of PVD occurs in the following way. First, it occurs in the perifoveal vision, and it is stage 1 PVD. Uh, or basically, it starts at the temporal temporal perifoveal vision and then followed by the nasal perifoveal vision. Then it uh, progresses to superior and inferior circuits. Then it involves the fovea, then the mid peripheral retina, and finally the optic disc. Uh, when vitreous is fully detached from the optic disc, we see a wise ring, and it is called a complete PVD. Although, whether is not always confirmatory of complete PVD, but uh, and then uh, the separation occurs from the optic disc is considered to be uh, that PVD is complete. Now, uh, what is VMTN and how, how is it different from uh, posterior uh, PVD? So, when anterior vitreous pull and weakening of the attachments occurs, then a normal PVD occurs. However, when there is when these are asynchronous, that is the tractional component precedes or post than the vitreoretinal detachment, it is called as the anomalous or incomplete PVD. Anomalous PVD is defined as partial posterior vitreous detachment with persistent attachment in the macular region, featuring an anomalous strength of adhesion to one or more of the structures in the posterior pole, resulting in tractional deformation of the retinal tissues. And uh, VM static and dynamic traction. When the posterior hyaloid detaches from the perifovia but remains attached to the paraphobia and foveola, the detached portion of the posterior hyaloid lies anterior to the plane of vitrofoveal attachment and this leads to anterior static traction and uh, when uh, additional ocular rotations occur uh, with the eye movements, it exerts a dynamic anterior traction at the site of vitrofoveal attachment and this dynamic traction seems to be greater of importance than the static traction in creation of VMT. So a macular hole is one of the uh, or one of the endpoints of VMT. So, as an uh, extension to this, I will be describing the pathogenesis of macular hole. Two areas, one proposed by gas, in which there is vitreomacular traction, focal shrinkage of the foveal vitreous cortex, intraretinal foveolar cyst formation, and unroofing of the cyst. And the second theory is by Tornabe et al., uh, which states that there is a posterior traction at the fovea, tear in the inner fovea, seepage of fluid uh, between the spongy layers of macula, resulting in cavity in the inner retina, enlargement of the hole spread to the outer retina and the swollen retina remains elevated at 
resulting in the formation of the final macular hole. Uh, moving to the staging of macular hole, uh, gas staging, there are two uh, staging uh, uh, classifications. One is the clinical classification described by gas. The second is the OCT-based classification described by the in International Vitromacular Traction Study Group. So the clinical classification, there are four stages. The first stage is stage 1A or the impending in which uh, we can see in uh, clinical examination, we can see yellow spot due to early iris detached the foveolar cost line or cone outer segment line. And in the pathophysiology, there is molar cell cone detached from the underlying photoreceptor layer with the formation of a schisis cavity or called a pseudocyst. Then the second uh, one B is the occult macular hole in which instead of yellow ring, we see a, a yellow spot, we see a yellow ring or donut shape, which is the edematous border of the disrupted outer retina. And here again, photoreceptors undergo a centrifugal displacement. This is uh, the OCT of impending macular hole. Here we can see that the inner segment, outer segment line is intact. That is the ISOS junction is intact, but the cone outer segment tips is elevated. The yellow arrow which is pointing towards the cone outer segment tip that is elevated in uh, impending macular hole that is stage 1. And in 1B, it is disruption of the up to the retinal pigment epithelium. We can see a defect in the uh, ISOS junction as well as the RPE. So that stage, uh, in that sense, stage 1B impending macular hole is a true occult macular hole. Then uh, stage 2, it is a small full thickness hole. The, si uh, the size is less than 400 microns. Uh, it is central, slightly eccentric or crescent shape. And the pathology is that there's a dehiscence seen in the roof of the shiatic cavity, resulting in a pseudo operculum. So this is the stage two. Uh, there is eccentric oval crescent or horseshoe shaped retinal defect inside the edge of the yellow ring. And there is incompletely attached operculum. So we can see that uh, the, the uh, posterior halide membrane is still attached to the roof of the, uh, the pseudocyst, but it is detached from one end, but it still continues to be attached at the other end. And there's a full thickness defect. And no loss of foveolar retina occurs in this. Then in <clears throat> stage 3, it is a full-size macular hole. The size is more than 400 microns. The hole has a red base with yellow dots and there is a surrounding gray cuff of subretinal fluid. The pathology is that there is an avulsion of the roof of the cyst with an operculum and persistent parafoveal attachment of the vitreous cortex. So this is stage 3. Uh, in stage 3, the posterior halide membrane is completely detached from the macular surface and results in formation of a pseudo-operculum, which is resulted, uh, shown by the blue arrow. But the posterior halide remains still uh, halide membrane still continues to be attached to the optic disc, so it is incomplete PVD. The edge of the hole has been thickened by cystic spaces, and the photoreceptors are elevated, shown by the black arrow. And finally, in stage four, it is a full thickness macular hole with complete PVD. It is same as stage three, but only difference is that the PVD is complete, and we can see wires ring. So uh, it is important that OCT is not sufficient to diagnose the stage four because of the absence of visibility of posterior halide membrane on OCT scan. Uh, so presence of wise ring can be considered as a valid indicator for stage 4 clinically. So uh, this is again a comparison of the two classifications. One is biomicroscopy by gas and the optical coherence tomography. So we can see these are the differences. Uh, in stage 1a, we can see yellow spot and the inner fovea and the foveolar detachment of the cone outer segment tip is present. And in the stage 1b, there is a ring. And the uh, defect progresses towards the outer retina, causing photoreceptor layer defect. And in uh, stage 2, there is an operculum, but the operculum is not completely detached. Stage 3, there is complete detachment of the operculum, but the PVD is not complete. It is still attached to the disc. And in stage 4, there is complete PVD with development of bias ring. The other uh, types of macular holes are lamellar hole and pseudo hole. In lamellar hole, uh, it is a type of aborted macular hole. Uh, cystoid macular edema is present and uh, generally, and there is the thinning of the foveal tissue, leaving the RP and photoreceptor layers are intact. And there is a cleft seen between the inner and outer retina at the edges of the lamellar hole. So this is an important uh, distinguishing point from lamellar hole from pseudo hole. In lamellar hole, there is a splitting of the uh, inner retinal layers. Uh, and in the pseudo hole, it is just, uh, we can see that there is an epiretinal membrane prolifer uh, proliferation and uh, just there is a heapening of the uh, inner retinal layers, but there is no splitting of the retinal layers. 
तो ऑन बायोमाइक्रोस्कोपी लाइमेलर होल्स डिफर फ्रॉम फुल थिकनेस होल्स बिकॉज दे आर रेयरली राउंड बट दे आर बाय और ट्रायल ओबिलेटेड सो दिस वी कैन सी इज अ फुल थिकनेस होल बट दिस इज अ लाइमेलर होल एंड देर सेंटर इज रेडिश लाइक दैट ऑफ एफ टी एम एच बट देर एज इज थिंग वेर इज इन फुल थिकनेस मैक्यूलर होल दे एज इज थिक एंड एलिवेटेड दिस इज द ओ सी टी लैमुलर होल अपियर्स इज डिफेक्ट इन द इनर फोविया ड्यू टू एवर्जन ऑफ द रूफ ऑफ द फोवियल सिस्ट विच कैन बी एदर ट्रैक्शनल और ड्यू टू सिस्टर मैक्यूलर रिडीमर एंड इज कैक्टराइज बाई इरेग्युलर थिनिंग ऑफ द फोवियल फ्लोर विद क्लीवेज बिटवीन द इनर एंड आउटर आउटर रेटिना एट द लैमुलर होल एज एंड दर इज एन एबसेंस ऑफ एनी कॉन्ट्रेक्ट एलिपिरेटियल मेम्रेन इन दिस ओ सी टी देन अगेन सुडो होल सुडो होल ऑन बायो माइक्रोस्कोपी इज अगेन अ राउंडिश सेंट्रोफोवियल लीजन विद सेंट्रीपेटल कॉन्ट्रेक्शन ऑफ द एपिरेटियल मेम्रेन and oct shows thickening of the macula by con- uh, resulting due to contraction of an epiretinal membrane resulting in a u or v shape fovea and there is no loss of retinal tissue at the um, so this is important there is no loss actual loss of retinal tissue in sudo holes so various diagnostic techniques uh, for uh, macular hole diagnosis one is slit lamp biomicroscopy uh, in which uh, we can see a round excavation with well defined borders interrupting the beam of slit lamp and overlying semi translucent pseudo operculum can sometimes be seen at the margins of the hole there can be a, uh, a cuff of subretinal fluid or cystic changes at the margins and sometimes there can be associated epiretinal proliferation which can be seen in the form of mild uh, wrinkling in the retinal wrinkling so clinically uh, watske allen test is one of the uh, determining factors for detecting uh, macular hole uh, a slit lamp using a macular lens is placed placing a narrow vertical slit lamp the, the positive test is that the patient detects a break in the beam of light uh then the next and the most important modality of diagnosis is oct it detects the presence of macular holes as well as changes in the surrounding retina it distinguishes the lamellar holes and cystic lesions of the fovea uh, of the macula from the macular holes and also it uh, it uh, describes the status of the vitreo macular in the holes a uh, fluorescence angiography is not routinely performed it can be performed when there is a suspected cnv and we can we want to distinguish the macular holes from cmv and cnv full thickness stage 3 holes have a granular hyperfluorescent window associated with overlying pigment layer changes the diagnosis of macular hole can be pseudo hole as i have already described then foveal rp atrophy cystoid macular edema idiopathic cscr foveal drusen rp detachment and cnv so now comes the uh, the dark area that is whether to operate or to observe a macular hole and the pre op prognostic prognostic factors can throw a light on decision making process so these are the prognostic factors for macular hole which can be divided into functional anatomical and so in functional factors we have the basal hole diameter minimal hole diameter hole height and isos junction line in anatomical we have the various macular hole indices that is the hole formation factor macular hole index fractional hole index and diameter hole index and the other factors are the preoperative staging the duration of macular hole preoperative best tested visual acuity uh, previous surgery patient has already undergone macular hole surgery and microperimetry so uh, in the functional uh, prognostic factors we the cell hole diameter as depicted in this uh, figure uh, in this oct then the arm length the arm length that is the distance between the uh, rp to the i length across the arm and the hole height from the uh, highest point of the ilm to the rp uh, it has been described that minimal hole diameter uh, smaller than 400 uh, microns tend to have a greater visual acuity improvement basal hole diameter has a negative hole A correlation between the basal hole diameter and the post-operative visual acuity. Hole height also there is a negative correlation, and ISOA junction defect, uh, post-operative visual acuity correlated with pre-operative ISOA junction defect. That is, if the pre-operative ISOA junction is disrupted, we will not get a good visual outcome post-surgery. Uh, after the functional prognostic factors, we move on to the anatomy. The first is the hole formation factor. Uh, Hole formation factor more than point nine is associated with a success rate of hundred percent, whereas if it is less than point five, it has a success rate of sixty seven percent. So hole formation factor is calculated by C plus D upon A. That is the arm lengths of the uh, two uh, edges divided by the basal diameter. And the next index is the macular hole index. 
it is a ratio of whole height with basal diameter. So if macular hole index is more than more than or equal to 0.5, it's with reduced macular thickness post-operatively and better visual uh, visual outcomes. And the third is fractional hole index. It is a ratio of whole height with minimal basal diameter. Uh, tractional hole index, if it is more than 1.41, is a predictive factor for good uh, visual prognosis. And lastly, diameter hole index. It has a ratio of minimal hole diameter with the basal hole diameter. Minimal hole diameter is C, basal hole diameter is A. It indicates the tangential traction strength. So uh, the other factors are the stage of hole. Uh, the more advanced the stage of hole, the uh, worse visual outcome. Then duration of hole. Uh, if the hole is less than six months duration and the vision is 20 by 50, then 60% cases uh, uh, can have a better visual outcome. And uh, if it is more than six months, then 30 cases can have a, a, a good visual outcome. Preoperative PCVA, uh, 660 can, can generally improve to along, around 612. Number of surgeries, patients who have had two failed surgeries for a macular hole generally derive little or no visual benefit, even if a third surgery closes the hole. Lastly, a scanning laser microperimetry. Uh, in, it is a, in this test, a stimuli are positioned on the retina around the macular hole. The first stimuli is presented as 15 to 20 decibels and the adjusted until some stimuli are seen. Uh, intensity is then decreased gradually until the patient does not see any stimuli. And this is defined as maximum parahole sensitivity. This parahole sensitivity shows a positive correlation with post-operative PCV. So in our case, uh, in the pre-op uh, uh, OCT, we can see that the hole formation factor was 0. 0.65, but expected for a good prognosis was more than 0. 0.9. Post-operatively, it improved to 0. 0.74 uh, because the arm length, basal, and minimal diameter reduced, but still it was uh, less than 0. 0.9. Macular hole index was 0. 0.22. It was unchanged. And the uh, tractional hole index also improved uh, because the minimal basal diameter, that is, uh, minimal diameter reduced. This diameter reduced as compared to the preoperative OCT. But still, the hole did not close. So, uh, what are the various management options in macular hole? Most importantly, it has no medical treatment. The autologous plasmin was tried uh, to induce PVD, but it did not have much success. And the cost of uh, the uh, is also quite high, so it is not a very uh, conducive method. And in surgical care, the indications are uh, in stage two or higher full thickness macular holes. We can uh, progress for, uh, we can opt for surgery. But stage one holes and lamellar holes are managed conservatively. Contraindications are coexisting choroidal rupture, then traumatic RPA rupture, chronic cystoid macular edema, and optic nerve disorders. Uh, these, if these are present, then uh, surgery should not opt for. And the time of surgery is best within one year. Chronic holes one to five years, especially if fellow eye has progressive macular or optic nerve pathology, can also be tried to be operated. The procedure we performed is a uh, routine pass plana vitrectomy uh, with either 23, 25, or 27 gauge uh, vitrectomy. Uh, and depending upon the lens status, we make the ports either uh, if the pseudo faking then 9.5. It is if it's a faking patient, then we make the ports at 4 m. And basically, the cortical vitreous is removed uh, first by staining with dimensional acetonide and PVD is then induced. Then comes the uh, ILM and or ERM staining. So the various dyes which are available are tripan blue, brilliant blue and endosanin green. Endosanin green is not routinely used because of its uh, retinal toxicity. So commonly used are tripan blue and brilliant blue. Uh, tripan blue is uh, can be used in concurrent ERM present. Or uh, we can use uh, routinely what we use is brilliant blue 0.025%. So the stain there are two methods when we use brilliant blue. If the uh, ERM is also present, one is the negative staining and one is the double stain. So negative staining uh, occurs because the uh, brilliant blue has affinity only for the ILM. So when there is ERM will be present, ERM will not stain and it can be seen as uh, as a contrast in surrounding blue background. And then we peel the ERM and to remove the uh, ILM underneath the uh, field ERM, we stain it again with the brilliant blue and that, that is called as double stain. So, uh, brilliant blue uh, can also be combined with the 4% polyethylene glycol, which increases the molecular weight and results in better concentration at the posterior pole, which can help in faster and better straining, staining. And for larger holes, uh, the inverted ILM flap is attached to the edge of the hole and it is stuck over the hole. And refractory cases, the even uh, we can harvest 
ऑटोग्राफ इन द फॉर्म ऑफ हाइटेड और पोस्टर लेंस कैप्सूल और वी कैन परफॉर्म अ रेटिनल ऑटोग्राफ एज वेल तो बाय टू पील द आई एल एम सो इन माइक्रोलर होल्स ऑफ द थर्ड एंड फोर्थ स्टेज गैस स्टेजेस द मूलर सेल्स माइग्रेट टू द आई एल एम विच एक्ट इज अफोल्ड विच ट्रांसफॉर्म इन टू द फाइब्रो ब्लास्ट ऑन सर्फेस ऑफ द फोविया एंड रिजल्ट इन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ पी आर एम सो देर कॉन्ट्रेक्शन कैन प्रोड्यूस अ टेंजेंशियल ट्रैक्शन ऑन द होल This results in poor closure rates and even enlargement and recurrence of the hole post-operative. However, if ILM peeling uh, after ILM peeling traction can be completely removed and potential reducing retinal stiffness and stimulation uh, stimulates the proliferation of glial cells and facilitates the closure of the hole. So uh, after ILM peeling, we should opt for a tamponading agent either in the form of oil or a gas. Generally, we use a, a, a gas in the form of a non-expansile concentration. Uh, there are two options one is per c3 effet or per fluoropropane which is used in the concentration of 14% or per fluoride or sf6 which is used in the concentration of 20% silicon oil has been uh, can be used but there are specific indications like if the patient one eyed or the patient has difficulty in the positioning or there is uh, altitude restrictions and uh, the yeah, mechanism of tamponade is in this is the interface interfacial tension and results in closure of the hole so uh, which tamponade to choose uh, lie at all reported that silicon oil shows a slightly lower closure rate than the inert gas while inert gas uh, promotes the uh, proliferation of glial cells uh, furthermore buoyancy of the gas is higher than that of silicon oil which helps in fixing the hole more effectively and pushing the retina to the rt the gas increases the isolation effect also between the hole and the liquefied uh, uh, vitreous remnants and thereby promotes the closure and further use of various gases requires no secondary surgery associated with the fewer side effects as i have stated again uh, oil is preferred if patient capable to maintain prone position is a known case of glaucoma needs air travel or is one eyed the surgical options for uh, in recent uh, study by soon et al uh, they stated that there is a little difference between 350 and 450 micron macular hole uh, sizes and uh, 400 micron is my uh, size is not very practical so 600 micron 650 micron should be considered as a large hole instead of 400 and the uh, standard full thickness macular hole vitrectomy involving ilm peeling and gas tamp results in 90% success rate in medium holes between 250 to 650 and if the hole size is more than 650 techniques like ilm and uh, technique known as retma or retinal expansion technique for macular hole acquisition is considered so what happens in retma is there is a internal limiting membrane peeling uh, first with brilliant blue staining is done and uh, this step of ilm peeling is performed under high magnification and then after ilm peeling is done uh, three retinotomies are made uh, uh, of the size of 0.12 by 5 mm with a tip of rigid retinal hydro spinula and subretinal infusion of balanced salt solution is performed uh, until each bleb is connected to the macular hole and once these blebs are formed the fx is performed without draining the subretinal fluid and then uh, sf6 20% concentration is injected and face down positioning is maintained for at least 6 hours per day for 3 days and another uh, technique is the macular hole hydro dissection technique uh, the surgical option for chronic macular holes or non closure holes in which a uh, silicon soft tip cannula uh, under the proportional reflux water is actively refluxed into the macular hole thereby lysing any adhesions of the macular hole edges to the adjacent rp this serves to hydro dissect the macular hole from any rp adhesions and moves the macular hole edges initially further apart from one another so initially the macular hole enlarges and after that there is a second step in, in which the soft tip is used under passive extrusion to brush uh, the more mobile edges of the macular hole together and then again complete uh, fluid gas perform and phase down positioning is maintained for 5 to 7 days now we move on to uh, what are the types of uh, macular hole closure uh, post operatively uh, initially uh, in 2003 uh, kang et al had suggested a binary uh, form of closure that is either type 1 or type 2 so type 1 there is a closed uh, hole is closed without any fo foveal neurosensory defect to uh, the hole is closed with a persistent foveal neurosensory defect so in type 2 holes uh, they are found to be large is more associated with greater duration of visual symptoms and lesser post operative visual recovery and success was defined uh, uh, post operative biomicroscopic appearance of macular hole disappears and uh, it is attached to the underlying rp with flattening of the cup of cuff of uh, retinal fluid around the hole but uh, now 
we are since we are moved uh, ahead into the uh, we have advanced um, uh, surgery techniques now uh, there was a newer class of macular hole uh, closure patterns proposed in 2020 by rossi et al uh, so uh, the uh, historical significance is that in 1999 there was a, a previously described pattern was just u v or w type of closure and 2003 there was a uh, it was modified into type 1 and type 2 that is presence or absence of oval neurosensory defect and in uh, newer uh, it is further sub classified as type 0 type 1 and type 2 uh, so type 0 is uh, is that it is an unsuccessful macular hole closure and the hole remains open with the bare retinal pigment epithelium exposed to the vitreous chamber it is further divided into a b and c in a only the central rim of the photoreceptors is adherent so here we can see only central rim is adherent to the rp then 0 b there is center most rim of photoreceptors is so here there we can see the elevation and uh, uh, in 0 c the center most rim of the photoreceptors is edema in type 1 closure uh, the hole is closed and uh, the hole is closed with the help of the peeled ilm which can be either either just placed over the macular hole or it can be tucked inside the macular hole uh, so in type 1a there is reconstitution of all the layers in type 1b there is reconstitution of only the inner layers with the outer retinal defect persistent and in type 3 there is a, a reconstitution of only outer retinal layer and inner uh, defect is persistent and uh, type 2 is that uh, in the case is done in the cases where there is uh, uh, the hole is closed with the help of either autologous amniotic membrane anterior lens capsule or autologous retina and uh, it is again divided into three types uh, type 2a all layers are closed type 2b only the inner layers are closed and type uh, c the condition of outer retinal lens so uh, in this study they found that uh, the type of surgery is significant is the closure pattern there was no correlation between the choice of tamponade or the closure rate or healing pattern the closure patterns uh, significantly dif- uh, with different uh, visual recovery pat- uh, pattern showed significant uh, different visual recovery types 1 a b and c achieved a better vision than type 2 and the uh, visual acuity significantly correlated with the retinality uh, the uh, closure patterns with outer retinal restoration showed a significantly better visual pcva uh, improvement one, one and three month post op than the inner retinal layer restoration and the interposition of graft tissue resulted in significantly better visual acuity than the open macular holes but the worse visual acuity as compared to the closure with the ilm flap so they have mentioned that ilm uh, flap closure is the better modality of uh, surgery as compared to grafts or amniotic membrane or uh, the anterior lens capsule graft finally the complications of macular hole surgery spontaneous cataract uh, induced by the uh, gas tamponade then raised iop if there is incorrect uh, 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 concentration of gas used if uh, no, non expansile concentration is not used then uh, late macular hole reopening which can be seen to 10% cases retinal breaks retinal detachment and very rarely end of thalmitis thank you what about the case you didn't mention what was done or what was planned Sir, in this case, we just asked her for follow up because she was not ready for any further surgery. What will you do? So we can try again uh, the techniques like uh, which I described, like retina or uh, uh, the macular hole dissection technique. What was the? Uh, and, uh, we can. Yeah. What was the technique? And we can again the... perform the fluid. What was the technique? The technique was. Technique was inverted ilm flap was used so the ilm flap was there at the time of fluid gas section you reviewed the surgical video yes sir it was there okay so what was the reason for failure so the, the hole size was very large so the probably the ilm which was inverted couldn't uh, fill the uh, neurosensory defect hmm you can review the surgical video maybe it was not uh, properly tucked into the hole that could be one of the reasons for failure or it might have got displaced after fluid gas exchange so that could be one of the reasons fine prone position was given for how many days prone position for uh, uh, one week sir okay
ठीक है ओके सो आई थिंक फॉर री सर्जरी मे बी ग्राफ्टिंग माइट बी नीडेड इफ रिक्वायर्ड एनी विजुअल इम्प्रूवमेंट आफ्टर द सर्जरी Yes, it improved from counting finger three meter to six thirty six. Okay. At one month post op. Patient has myopia also, na? No? You can see little bit of yes. cephaloma. There is out yes, pulsing. Yes. Okay. So the prognosis is less also. Okay, fine. Good, good. Uh, the printouts of types of new classification of types of closure, you can put it in your doctor's room. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Any questions from okay. other students? No. Any questions? Okay. I will end the meeting.